Um, one of the main causes of upper trap, so these muscles up here, and neck pain is actually overuse of the upper trap muscles and not enough of the lower trap muscles. So you got to fix that too, but as a release that you can do right now, the peanut ball. So you can even use a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball. Lacrosse might be a little bit hard. Um, any really a ball of some description. I'm going to put the ball here and I'm going to lie down like this. You can see the top part of the ball sticking out of the top there. Yeah? So I'm just going to lie down and then I want you to push your heels into the floor and lift your hips. This is a Pilates bridge. Oh, it's already hurting. And you're just going to slide that arm up to your ear and back down. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Not really. You can also take the arm across the body. Ooh. So that'll get in a slightly different spot. And another one. What's the other one that we do? Oh, and this one. So up and back. So that one's out to the side. This one's straight over the top. The whole time you're going to keep pushing your hips up so it's quite hard to do. So if that's really painful without lifting your hips, just keep your hips down. Or a happy, happy medium, happy compromise is to do it in your bed because the bed will take some of the pressure off of the ball and it won't be as intense. Um, yeah, so otherwise just keep your hips down while you're swinging your arm around until you desensitize or you loosen it off enough that you can lift your hips up. So ideally hips up. So another traps are these muscles down here, just underneath your shoulder blades, right next to your spine. So your traps go out like a kite. They go out, up here, and then they come all the way up to the base of the skull. So it literally looks like a kite on your back. Cute, right? So most people use the upper part of their traps too much instead of using these ones. So these ones are overworked. Um, your, your upper traps are the busy bodies doing too much work. We need to learn to activate these ones so they do more of the work and they take some of the load off of here, which will reduce the neck pain. Sweet? All right. Lean down on your tummy. You can have your hands either just out to the side so your elbows are aligned with your shoulders, or you can try with your hands a little bit higher. It's up to you. You should have your face down, but you won't be able to hear me talk, so I'm going to do it awkwardly. So from here, you want to think shoulders down and back, tummy squeeze so your T zone is on. And then it's like you're going to lift your hands and your elbows, but you don't actually. So if you watch here, I'm just going to activate probably one side. So I'm going to squeeze, and you can see this side is activating. So shoulder down and back, and then it's like a lift. Can you see that muscle twitching? Can you see? So from here, that'll be both of those. Yes, yes. And that's your lower traps. And I'm not doing anything. That's the easiest exercise in the world. Start leaning against the wall. Hands flat on the wall. Elbows flat on the wall. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Double chin it. Double chin is so hot. You have no idea how sexy. Alright? Keep the ribs in so you're not arching your back. Especially as you bring your elbows towards your ribs or your hips. And then... You're going to let the arms sweep up, let the shoulder blade come swinging out to the side here. Shoulders stay away from the ears, and then we're going to bring it back down. Keep the shoulders down, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and you'll feel those back muscles between your shoulder blades pinching in. And then bring it back up, keep the shoulders down, and pull it back in. The whole time, the back of the whole forearm and from fingertips to elbow stays against the wall. The reason we get neck pain is because our posture is very much like this. Yes. So the chin is hanging too far forward, which puts a lot of pressure on the back of the neck muscles to hold the head up. Okay. So that can cause a lot of neck pain. Even just doing that, oh man, that, that was giving me like a mild headache. So what we need to do is actually bring this chin back in. So if you think double chin, look at all my chins. Yeah, that's hot. We want more chins, guys. Yeah, so if you've got a double chin or a quadruple chin, however many chins, that's probably quite a good thing. Well, I mean, you don't want to overemphasize it, but doing that is actually closer to where we want to be. So we don't want to be here, we want to be here.
here. If you've ever had a car accident or experienced whiplash, does that look familiar, ladies? <laughs> All my pole dancing friends be like, no. <laughs> the ones that we want to work on right now are your deep neck flexes. So, <clears throat> if you imagine that this is a vertebrae in your neck, the deep neck flexes are attaching on the inside. So you've got your deep neck flexes and then you've got like your esophagus and like your mouth hole stuff. And then on the back, you've got the back of your neck here. So your skin and your hair. But here, okay, this is where the, the deep neck flexes are attaching on. So these ones are responsible for holding the chin in and they also can help you nod your head without actually activating the superficial or the closer to the surface neck muscles. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my hand over my throat and not trying to like squeeze and choke myself. It's not 50 shades of gray. It's just 50 shades of relax. So I'm here and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and nod my chin without activating these muscles on the surface of my neck, okay? So from here, I'm going to try and numb my head without activating these muscles. So I'm going to go. And if I go any more, you can see these ones start to bulge. I bring my chin down. Is how far can I go without activating these big muscles on the surface of my neck? The other thing I'm thinking about is actually kind of lengthening up through the back of my neck. So I'm trying to imagine that I'm nodding my head down, but at the same time stretching my head away. So it's like down, up. But it's a very, very subtle movement and you can't actually see it. So just try, just try a few of those. I usually do like 10 of those. Um, if I can hold it, I'll hold it for about 10 seconds. If I haven't done them for a while, 10 seconds is actually a really long time because these are really tiny little muscles. They're very delicate um, and 10 seconds is a lot for them. So hopefully that reduces your pain. You're welcome.